Brian Billick's a Super Bowl champ, nine years, Ravens head coach. You know, there's this story about Kyler Murray and the addendum, and I don't love the fact that it's yeah. out. But boy, he's yeah. 42 and 0 in high school, won the Heisman, rookie of the year, got Arizona to the playoffs. You know, Brian, it's hard to tell somebody to do something when they keep winning at every level. W- would it drive you nuts if he didn't prep as much as you wanted? Well, yeah, because I've never had a great quarterback that wasn't good at that in some form or the other. I do question it being in the contract. I'm with you. That bothers me more than I, I don't know how much time. I mean, by the time you get to the facility at 7 in the morning, you leave by 5 or 6. I don't know how much time you have in the evening to really get anything done at home. Anyway, you get, you get your prep during the course of the day. But the fact that it's in the contract, that they felt compelled to put it in the – to me, I would be embarrassed by that. Yeah. And and uh, and how they enforce it. So I don't know if it's much ado about nothing. They obviously re-signed him, so they believe in him. They believe in what he's doing enough. But to put that in the contract, I, I kind of question as well, not only for the organization but for the young man as well. Uh, Lamar Jackson, um, you know, he 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 goes a different route. He doesn't have an agent. His mom's his agent. Yeah. Again, I wouldn't recommend that, but to each their own. Uh, I've known people. I uh, Ted Koppel was a journalist in my business. Didn't even have an agent, uh, which is you know, in our business, everybody I thought had an agent. So people can do about it different ways. Go about it. Um, I'd pay him. I, I say this all the time. The worst thing in the world in the NFL is driving to the stadium, knowing you have very little chance to win. Lamar wins seventy five percent of his starts. Brian, I, I I don't know if he's as good playing from behind as with a lead, but he wins seventy five percent of his starts. I think I just pony up the dough. Would you? Yeah, and I think I think Baltimore will too. I think they want to. I mean, we, we overuse the word unique in this business. He is truly unique in what he does, both on and off the field. Like you said, his mom is his agent and the like. I think he's betting on himself. I think the Ravens are willing to pay him. I think they're willing to own up to it. And 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 as you know, that's the tough thing in pro sports right now because every dollar you give to Lamar doesn't go someplace else. So it's got to be structured the right way. I think he's kind of betting on himself. I think I think he's looking at it and saying, you know what? The payday I get if I should be able to go to free agency is going to pale whatever deal I agree to right now. Maybe they can get it done. I know for a fact the Ravens want to do it. They're willing to pay the price. It's just getting it done seems to be the issue right now. What is your best hunch on how Russell Wilson and Denver work? The the coach has never been a head coach. Uh, he says the right things. He said multiple times, we're building an offense that makes Russell comfortable. Whatever he likes, we're doing. Your hunch today, how it works. Yeah, and, and yeah, that's that's smart because obviously we saw what Russell Wilson was able to do in Seattle, taking nothing away from Pete Carroll and what they did in Seattle. Russell Wilson was the difference maker in the success that organization had and what he was asked to do and under the pressure that he was asked to do it. What that means is in Denver, if he's smart, the head coach will make sure that he's protected, that he has receivers and a running back core. You know, I know that people are making a big deal about, well, Russ Wilson belongs in the top five athletic quarterbacks in the league right now. I don't think he wants to be a rushing quarterback. He's run the ball better than 100 times in this league. He doesn't want to do that. He's brilliant inside the pocket. He'll make some plays on third down for you. But I don't think he wants to do it with his legs. He wants an offensive line. He wants a receiving core that allows him to do it from there. Particularly, you know, he's getting to be a little bit older. He knows taking those hits is a little problematic. So when they say they're going to wrap the thing around Russell Wilson, it's going to be a solid running game, protect him, give him the weapons down the field. And uh, they realize because they got to keep him upright. He's been very good at that. Uh, uh, very little injury, if any at all. So he knows how to keep himself keep himself healthy. But I don't think he wants to be look up there at the end of the year and see that he's had to run the ball 80, 90, 100 times. Yeah. So Belichick's not using an OC or a DC. Um, it's yeah, I mean, you were an offensive coordinator in Minnesota for years. I always thought, you know, sometimes in college, uh, a coach will like kind of, you know, he'll recruit and he'll take care of his side of the ball uh, and he'll still call plays. I don't love it. I like when a coach sort of is a walk around coach, you kind of use your expertise and Jimmy Johnson always calls that kind of a walk around coach bounce to bounce to bounce. Does it worry at all? No coordinators. Not for Bill Belichick. You talk about unique in the way you do it. It all throws flows through Bill more so than any of the coach probably in the league. 
they have a structure. There is a coordinator per se, if not in title. I think Bill simply is going, look, I'm tired of losing my coordinators. <laughs> so I'm just not going to make anybody a coordinator. You're going to have to figure it out how much each has to do with what we do offensively or defensively. I think he's doing it that for as much as anything. But within the building, there's going to be a, a clear hierarchy, a chain of command of who this goes through. Of course, ultimately, it all goes through Bill. So, um, finally, he's in an undisclosed location, uh, so I don't want to give that away, but it sounds unbelievable. Mike McCarthy got a little prickly yesterday when his first press conference was about his job security. In your career, Minnesota as an OC, Ravens as a Super Bowl winning coach, was there a year that either your head coach or you was a little bit on a coaching hot seat? And did it affect you, your thought, your prep, your... It, it, does it weigh on you? No, because to answer your question, yeah, every year, <laughs> every year, either the head coach or you or something going on around you, you know, the other, other than maybe a Bill Belichick, uh, maybe now a Sean McVay, uh, I don't know that anybody in the NFL could say, oh, no, I'm fine. I'm untouchable. I'm, I'm good to go. That's just not the nature of the league. It's, you know, what are you doing for me now? Mike McCarthy understands that. I think what he bristled up at, was not the idea that he he might be on the hot seat, because of course he is. It's, well, why are we talking about it? This is non-news. I know it. The whole league knows it. It's the way we all operate. It's a non-story. I know you want to talk about it. Unfortunately for Mike, he, he's got to understand, you know, he's not in control of this, because we're going to talk about it. And particularly in a city like Dallas, it's going to get talked about. So less of an effect on him and his team than everything that's going on around him. But everybody in that organization knows, particularly it being Dallas, of course he's on hot seat. Yeah. Finally, uh, X Tech Pads. You've been with them. Uh, they're celebrating their 10-year anniversary. The Rams wore them in the Super Bowl. It's a growing, ascending company. And in tra how many teams now in training camps are using them? 80% of the NFL has X Tech Pads. You know, Bob Broderick put this thing together 10 years ago, been with them from the beginning. Uh, so proud of what they've been able to do. Number one, pad professional football, major college football. thing that, that I'm liking now is uh, young people can order this pad, the same pad Aaron Donald or, or Josh Allen is wearing, and we can have it shipped within a day. Uh, 100% American made. And, and, it's, and it's filtering down into the high schools. we got to protect our young people online at X Tech Pads or on Instagram at X Tech Pads. Uh, this is the way to go because this is the best protection you can have for our young people. Brian, enjoy your summer. You got a couple of weeks remaining. I'm not giving it away, but I'm going to Google it after the show and check out where you live. I got to be honest. I can't wait. You got to come see us. All right. Thanks, Brian. You bet. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.